Hi, thanks for joining me today. It's Tanya from itstheperfectspot.com. I'm here at a home that's for sale. It's not my listing, it's a fabulous little home, but the reason I'm here is I'm waiting for my buyer, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to let you know some of the tips that I have. I have a top 10 list of things that you can do as a homeowner to help get your home sold not just listed. Because I think when we go through this process of getting our home ready to sell, we fall in love with our house and we think that everybody should love it, but we really need to step back and kind of look at it through the eyes of a buyer. The good thing is right now, our market is phenomenal. It is awesome. But as a buyer, I mean, as a seller, you still have work to do. It takes work to sell a house. So the first thing that I'd like to, for you to do, the first thing I have on my list is what I tell all my sellers. This home that you live in can no longer be referred to in your mind as a home. It has to be a house. It's the house that is going to propel you to the next chapter of your lives. The only way that you and your family can move on is if this house gets sold. So try to detach yourself from all of the memories and the fabulous times that you've created and, and experienced over the years that you and your family have been there. Start referring to this as a house, okay? That's number one. My tip number two that I have for you is I want you to think about when you walk into two different houses and they're equal, they're the exact same. You walk into a model home and then you walk into a lived-in home. There's a huge difference, right? So clean the clutter. Clean the clutter, it's as simple as that. That's number two. And what you need to think about is you truly are going to be competing against model homes that are out there, homes that have been professionally staged, homes that have no kids, no pets, and Mr. Perfect clean, Mr. Perfect and uh, Mr. Clean all live in the house there, and there's no mess, there's no, there's no life going on. So the best thing I can tell you is when you're going through the house and you realize you haven't used a couple of things for a year or longer, box them up. You already know you're going to move, that's your intention. So make it, ha make it happen. Box those things up, put them in a special place. If you've got a lot of knickknacks, you've got a personal collection of fairies or whatever the case may be, put them in a box. It may be very valuable to you and you just love it, but it's gonna be considered junk and clutter to other people that are walking in that door. I want you to have the best opportunity to sell your house, not just list it. So do those two things. And if you find yourself wanting the rest of my list, I've got a top 10, let me know. Go find me on itstheperfectspot.com or you can also find me on my Facebook fan page, It's The Perfect Spot. I sure look forward to talking with you soon. Now go clean everything, go clean that house, not home, right?